Hi guys, how's it? Uh, kia ora to my Kiwi followers, good day to my Aussie followers, and howdy to all my American followers. Uh, once again, I want to start out by saying thank you to all the support, all the subscriptions, all the likes, all the comments. I really do appreciate it. Uh, this is just a fun thing for me to do as kind of a hobby, and it's cool to have support from so many all over this big world of ours, or little world, however you want to look at it. 1874 Cup, this Saturday, Washington, D.C., FedEx Field, home of the Washington football team. We've got the USA Eagles taking on the All Blacks. Eagles lineup was released earlier this morning. All Blacks lineup just released. Ian Foster putting out a very interesting pack, uh, to say the least. I uh, got the lineups here. Kind of go through a couple of them and kind of make a few comments here and whatnot. Uh, we'll go through the USA Eagles lineup first. Uh, at one, we've got Matt, uh, Matt Harmon, uh, our... Uh, our props are Dylan Fawcett, Paul Mullen, the uh, Irish-born guy who uh, came here to Texas. Woo I'm a Texan as well. Uh, the flankers are going to be Andrew Guerra and Honko Hermesize back, the man who's been having a killer season this year, uh, international season, had a hat trick a couple of weeks back. He's back in the fold. He's definitely going to be rearing and ready to go. Uh, Cam Dolan at eight. Uh, he's a really tall guy. He can also play lock if he wants to. Plays for the NOLA Gold, personally. Uh, our nine and ten are Luke Carty and Nate Augsburger, uh, respectively. Uh, both uh, guys a couple of caps under their belt. On the wings, at our left uh, at our left wing, we've got uh, Ryan Matias. Maria, Matias. And uh, Ryan James are our wingers on the left and right, respectively. Uh, our centers are Bryce Campbell and Tavite Lopetti. Uh, Bryce Campbell is also the captain. Um, and then in the very back, we got Will Holy. Obviously, the absence of AJ McGinty he has been our best scorer. Um, I'm assuming that there's some kind of a major injury. That's why he's not available, unfortunately. Um, uh, Pivoletti and... Uh, I went through the bench. I didn't really see a whole lot. It's a 6-2 split on the bench. Uh, it's not really anything too key. Gary Gold putting out what I think he thought was maybe his best side that he had available. Um, like I said, the big absence of A.J. McGinty will be a big one to try to overcome. Very limited history between these two teams. Uh, 2014, the All Blacks beat the Bricks off them 20 to or 74-6. Uh, to six. Back in 91, 46-6. And all the way back in 1913 when nobody watching this was alive or even thought of uh 51 3 to the all blacks very limited history um the last time the Modi all blacks came here and played i was actually at that game in chicago probably one of the best hakas i've ever seen ash dixon led it and uh yeah that was probably one of the best hakas they played uh all blacks played ireland over at chicago or at soldier field in chicago and the Modi ABs played the usa eagles at the soccer stadium for uh, chicago fc or the chicago fire or whatever they were called at that time now we get over to the All Blacks lineup. Um, very interesting picks here. Uh, a lot of guys that I'm really surprised, not really surprised so much, and then some guys that I'm a little bit surprised by. Um, looks like Ian Foster took this as a chance to kind of give some of his younger guys a little bit of chance uh, to get out there and kind of spread their wings because it's going to be a, a bit difficult giving them playing time uh, based on the upcoming games in Europe. Uh, at one, starting, we got Ethan DeGroot. The props are uh, Asafo Amua and one of my favorite players, Angus Ta'avau, uh, the chief. Uh, Tupo Vai, Vai'i, and Sam Whitelock, the captain. Sam coming back in. Uh, he didn't make the uh, the rugby championship because he had a child born and that kind of thing. So Sam Whitelock definitely, oh my God, he's going to have fun. He's going to have a field day. Um the loose forwards are Luke Jacobson and Dalton Papali'i, uh, both guys that have gotten a little bit of time, but not a whole lot. And at eight, Hoskins Sotutu, right on. Uh, Finley Christie at number nine, no Weber, no, uh, obviously Aaron Smith's still back in, in Aotearoa, but uh, Finley Christie, his backup will be TJ Paranara coming off the bench. At 10, man, the, uh, the sexy, mulleted, Whatever guy that I made fun of on, not really fun of, I just thought it was a hilarious photo. He looks like Dennis Edwards. Um, is Richie Moonga? Yeah, getting another start there. Uh, the wings at left is George Bridge, and at 14 is Will Jordan, who is absolutely deadly at 14. No Savuri, surprisingly. Uh, the centers are Quinn Tupaya and Braden Enor. And at number 15, another chief, Damian McKenzie. Uh, the bench is pretty interesting. You got Dane Coles. 
uh, George Bauer, Tyrell Lomax, uh, Josh, uh, Josh Lord, who could get his debut if he comes off the bench, which I'm pretty sure he will. Captain Sam Kane coming back. Yeah, yeah, they brought him back over. He played a little bit in the Heartland Championship, so now he's going to get some time. Uh, TJ Perinar, like I, I mentioned earlier. Uh, Bowden Barrett and another one of my big boys, Anton Leonard Brown, man. This is going to be um, – <laughs> I'd love to – I'm wearing the USA jersey. I, you know, I'm going to be wearing it Saturday. Um, guys, come and say hi. 2.30, I know it's an 8 a.m. start in Altaroa. Come by and say hi. I will be up. I will be watching. Um, won't be showing the game, but I'll be having my commentary and some score lines, and you can kind of just – chit chat with me as we're watching along uh, i'm not giving the usa eagles a whole lot here uh, they have never scored a try against the all blacks and i really don't think this is going to change at all in this game um i i, I don't look at the, the score lines and the spreads because we don't gamble it's illegal to gamble on sports in this country i'm pretty sure you guys have all seen it everybody else I, i'm gonna go ahead and just say my prediction is 55 to 3 maybe 55 to 6 um, but I think even getting that three is going to be tough. A.J. McGinty is probably our best chance at getting any points on the board against the All Blacks, and he is not dressing the game. Um, <laughs> Sam Whitelock on defense is going to be a damn near monster to try to get through, so our locks are going to have their hands full just with him by himself, not to even mention the other guy, uh, Tupovat. And um, it's going to be a, an interesting game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say, like I said, I'm going to say 57-6 will be mine, or 63-6, or 50-3. to um, And that's if, if if the All Blacks show a little bit of mercy in that second half. If they bring these guys off the bench, they could easily score 70. If Bowden Barrett comes out, if, you know, Anton Leonard Brown... If Sam Kane gets out there and gets some, I mean, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long day for the Eagles um, of the USA. But I still watch, I still support, and uh, this should be a fun game no matter what. So hopefully, I will see all you guys at 2:30 p.m. local time here. I think it's like 8 a.m. in New Zealand. Uh, if you get up and you're maybe eating dinner with your breakfast or something with your family, or maybe you're just getting up having a cup of coffee, come on over to my YouTube channel. I'll be live. You know, if anything, just say kia ora. I'll say kia ora back. And, um, you know, I will, uh, you know, hopefully won't be too boring of a game. But if you're scoring that many points, that means the excitement is going to be there no matter what. Um, ticket sales for this game have been sluggish. Uh, I'd love to do a video about that. I've already looked at Ticketmaster. There are maybe 25, 30% of the seats have been filled in that stadium. There's still a lot of empty seats, um, and it is unfortunate, and that just kind of shows you how far we have to go uh, here in the USA for rugby to become a major, major sport. But I digress. I will see all of you guys on Tuesday. Cheers, and uh, yeah, talk to you again soon, guys.